I never remember to start on the right screen. But hey, we are constructing a relative frequency table here with Excel. So remember when we're talking about relative frequency, we're talking of the proportion of data that falls within that particular value. Uh, so whereas with a frequency table, it's just straight frequency, right? The number of times it shows up. Uh, relative frequency is the proportion of time. So let's go ahead and play with that. Now, if you recall, um, we've done frequency tables already, so hopefully you've watched that video. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and um, work on our uh, relative frequency. So the first things first, we do want to start with a regular frequency table. So I'm going to go ahead and click advanced, right? So my list is a little longer than this. So I need um, A2 to A26. And you'll notice that I just, I clicked on A2 and then I dragged it all the way down and I missed one. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Let me just type this in. We want to go from A2, I forgot my dollar sign, A2 to dollar sign a looks like twenty dollar sign 26 the purpose of the dollar signs is it locks it in okay um i'm going to copy it to c2 that's where um column c row two that's where my data is going to start and i want unique records only right so everything will show up just once and i'm going to click okay um for some reason five is showing up twice i had the same issue earlier i'm just going to delete one of those so i have one through five now Generally, especially if we're talking about movie ratings, we want these to be in order. So I'm going to sort those. I'm going to highlight, drag and, dr uh, well, click and drag. <whistles> Struggling tonight. Um, and then I'm going to go up here to sort A to Z. That means least to great. Excuse me, Excel. I said sort least to great. What is going on? Smallest column. I. What is what, Wait, wait. Column C, sort, smallest to largest. Okay, there, whoo, Excel's hating me tonight. Um, but these are the movie ratings, right? So let's just rewrite this. And then we're going to put our frequencies here in column D. Now, do you remember how to do that? Question mark, no? Okay, great. Let's refresh. We're going to use the equals count if. Then in our count if, again, we want the entire range. So dollar sign A, dollar sign 2, that's where we're starting, colon, dollar sign A, dollar sign 26. And you can see my entire list of values is highlighted. Woohoo! That's what we want. Now, I put a comma, and I want C2, because that's what I want, the movie rating of 1. And my parenthesis, it hit enter. 1, the movie rating of 1 has been there three times. Now, in my formula, because I use those dollar signs, I have locked in the A2 to A26. And that's what I want. I want to lock in that data. And now I can go to the bottom right corner where that green square is. I can get my black plus sign. And I can click and drag. And that will allow it to auto-populate. So you can see the formula there. I'm still having the dollar signs of A2 to A26. But the only thing that changed is the reference at the end. So I've got C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, which is the goal. All right, now that's all great. That's a frequency table. We've already done that. We want relative frequency. So remember that relative frequency is the proportion. So the proportion would is found by uh, you know dividing. So if we think about this, we're going to use, again, we're going to use a formula and in Excel, it's a big calculator, if we use formulas and cell references, it will be magic and work for us. For instance, to find the relative, uh, the relative frequency for the movie rating of 1, I'm going to take the frequency, which is 3, located in cell D2, and I'm going to divide by the sum. I don't know if I can do this inside. And I want the sum of this, D2 to D6. Does it work? Nope. All right, well in that case, let's do it this way. I, I got a little crazy and I wanted to try something that didn't work, but I need the sum. So let's go ahead and find the sum of these pieces first. And it's 25. Did that a little quickly, but I used the sum formula. Equal sum D2 to D6. It simply adds up those five numbers together for me. So now in the relative frequency, I can do D2 
divided by, and I want to lock in that cell reference, so I'm going to do D7 locked in. Okay, now, the reason I did that, so the relative frequency for that point is 0.12, but the reason I locked it in of D, uh, D7 is because now I can do the drag feature. And you'll notice that the first piece, D2, now D3, now D4, now D5, those have changed, but the D7 has locked in because I used the dollar signs. And so you can see now I have a relative frequency table because I have relative frequencies. And just to throw this in there, if I would sum up the relative frequencies, I should always get one because the proportion of each piece added together gives me a total of one. So that's kind of how we work with relative frequency. Uh, we can also, if you really got excited, um, relative frequency, you know, it's the proportion of things. We can also talk about those as percentages. So you could say 32% of the data gave the movie a five, right? That's kind of an interpretation piece using the relative frequency. That's a little bonus there at the end of that video. So uh, yeah, that's it.